Happy New Year, guys. Welcome to 2021. Yeah, welcome to 2021. Eh? But, <laughs> madam, what did you say? Nigerian music be banned in Cameroon. And Cameroonians should show no love and support to Cameroonian entertainers. To Cameroonian entertainers. Not, uh, what are you? Not, uh, not Sabi and Nidzi. Not in the dog. To Cameroonian entertainers. To Cameroonian <laughs> entertainers when they visit us. Yeah, Joanne, I know you are doing your job, but Patrako go. Anyway, remind my audience that. I mean, without you, there will be no us. Uh, being an evil man that I am, say, Bongwa, remind them something. Nigeria is not just a giant of Africa. Even our music serves a giant of Africa. But make no mind government for now. Let it go. <laughs> anyway, if the pigeons like, let them not fly. But it will not stop our Nigerian youth from flying out and doing exploits. All right. If the pigeons fly, maybe I could be president. Put him on the screen. Put him on the screen. Get us Now look at this person. Three years ago, you could tell me who is helping who now. Or the video not help you. Can help the video? Hip hop artist Stanley Eno was spotted at an all white party in Douala early this year, um, demanding that local DJs. Big, big you think of. In fact, he was pleading that lo local DJs should stop playing Nigerian music at Cameroonian events for hours and hours at the detriment of Cameroonian songs. But, uh, what are you? Not, uh, not Sabi and Nidzi, not within the dog. We are talking about the second wave of Corona, and these people don't even care about it, though. they went for all whites party. I'm going to happen to DJ, leave DJ to do his job now. They are going to tell DJ again. Stop playing Nigerian music and parties for hours and hours and hours. Hey, yeah. Why won't he beg? Whoever we are is because of our fans. Who is being real judge without those who are watching him now? Eh? How can the DJ ever do his job and be respected or be valued as a very good DJ if he's not keeping the audience entertained and letting them vibe to the music that they love? He, died, he, he went to go and tell the DJ <laughs> not to play Nigerian music in Makawai. Yangwani, <laughs> mind yourself. <laughs> See, uh, Nigerians, uh, especially in deep Dubai, our level is not Cameroon level or Uganda level. So, this conversation should not even be happening. Oh, okay, I'm gonna listen to the king of dance hall, Oshata Wale no Omoya. I always say I'm a Nigerian, I'm a real Nigerian, like I'm deep like that, you know, I'm Nigerian. You know, my name is Ikechuku Wale. Ore <laughs> Now, listen to this one, Oparo Mwe Onyoma CY. Movie she don't alive. We watch Nigeria de recolonize our culture. I beg, be you think of never we didn't happen. <laughs> this is 2021. No to Nigerian music in Cameroon. We are tired of your greed. And tell me, how are Nigerian artists greedy if not for the fact that we make good music? So now, would you say I am greedy for putting out good videos on YouTube? Please, if you like this video you're watching now, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends if you love what you're watching. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shatawali, my brother, I'm going to remind them. We Ghanaians, we are facing the same problem. Uh, do you know how many times Nigerian artists come here come and perform? But they are our brothers. What can we do? We love their music. Yes, I'm the same way to South Africa, same way to Ke Kenyan artists. Everybody, when any music hit from Africa, an artist from Zimbabwe, whatever, they depend on Kangana. And we can't do anything. Sometimes some of us won't go play the shows. We don't even get some of, some of the shows to play. But we just hear, oh, the, the Mr. So so and so is in town, blah, blah, blah is in town. But yo, if you want me to call you show, do music. If you want me to make the call you for show, every show they do, do music. Better music. If you know they do better music, so you go always envy Nigerian artists. Because Nigerian artists in Africa right now, they are like Nigerian artists are like Puff Daddy. They are like Jay Z. They are like Bob Bunny. They are like Bujubati. In fact, some of them even are like Kadi B. Kadi B. Kadi B. <laughs> but that is the truth. Now we run the streets for this music industry. Oh, sure you know. Now, by the way, this was a discussion among Cameroonians. And guess what? And then you decided to go on and bring a Nigerian artist in the heat of all of this madness. Why Naira Mali? And, and, and why are we supposed to be attending your show? I beg, be you think of. Um, <laughs> if you're a Malian watching this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Remember, shows are not like movies. The people that come for a particular show are because they have had a relationship with this particular artist they haven't met before or something, and they have enjoyed the good music. So having a show is just to have a live appearance of someone you already love. So if Naira Mali is going to bring good business to the promoters who are organizing him to come to Cameroon. What is the problem with Cameroonians and what is the problem with Onyoma Siwa and the rest of them that are talking?
I'm a businessman. Every businessman has lost money. Money. I've lost money, you know, back to back. I've done shows where I have more than 20 Camonian top artists on the same stage. I lost money. And just like Chetawale said, if you know they do better music, or you always envy Nigerian artists. But come on, it's not as if we are greedy if you're watching me and you're from Cameroon. Not at all. We just love to make good music. Come on, think about the quality. One of you actually said it. Our entertainment industry music, we need to do better. We need to make more money. It's a problem. And this is how a businessman thinks, which Stanley and all has forgotten. How oh. am I trying to help? How That's the question. Help? Okay. Diamond Platinum right now, if not, is the number one in Africa. It's the one of the best in Africa. Who made Diamond? He had a collaboration Davido. with Davido. Mm -hmm. Diamond is from East Africa. Okay. Somebody had to put both of them in the same room, in the same league for them. Okay. Somebody had to do the job. Okay. And the song was good. And the song was good. Okay. Let's just add that. You have to feed on some other person to stand out. Okay, so how are you? I'm bringing Naira. Okay. He has Malians all over the world. Tag with him, do a song with the dude. Feed on his Malians and would take now the music to the next level. Anyway, just like my friend in the conversation thinks. But the solution would not be through the banning of foreign music. Now, just like he said, how can we have only two hit songs from a, from a country in a whole year? Even, even Joanne, our TV host, is angry, sir. But how can, how can mm. a, a, our, top, our top musicians be, 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 be releasing just one song in a whole year? Be releasing just one song in a whole year? Be releasing just one song in a whole year? Big, me you think of? Yeah. Don Jazzy, yeah. almighty yeah. Don Jazzy yeah. will be doing comedy skits on, on TikTok and he's yeah. dancing. Yeah. And he's creating content and he's making money and we, and we are here doing fine boy things. And uh, being an evil man that I am, say, Bongwa, remind them something. First of all, the reason why I call off the Nara Mali show in Cameroon. Simple. This message is going to you, my Nigerian people. As I scratch your back, scratch my back too. I will not keep commenting on your posts, sharing your posts, liking your posts, inviting you, giving you my money. Yet you don't find no one day to do same to me. And when I say you are selfish and greedy, which you know that is who you are. You say I'm preaching hate. If you want me to call you show, do music. If you want me to you make the call you for show, every show they do, do music. Better music. If you know they do better music, so you always envy Nigerian artists because Nigerian artists in Africa right now, they are like Nigerian artists are like Pop Daddy, they are like Jay Z, they are like Bob Bunny, they are like Bujubati. In fact, some of them if they are like Kadi B, Kadi B, Kadi B. <laughs> I am a content creator and I do this just for the fun of it, okay? So don't start attacking me in the comment section. If you like this and it was entertaining for you, be sure to give this video a like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to do so because I come up with entertaining videos like this for you on the channel, all right? Yes, I live in China, so if you want to beat me, take enter plane, come to China and come and beat me, no problem. Not so bad, but all the same, remember to stay real and be the best version of yourself. And see you in my next video if you subscribe. Yeah, yeah.